All right, what's going on, everyone? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from AndroidAuthority.com, the number one website for all things Android. And if you've been playing the Dead Trigger game at all or uh, watching our recent videos, you know that it has some uh, optimizations for the Tegra 3 quad-core processor. Now, that can be found in the uh, LG Optimus 4X HD, the Nexus 7 tablet, the Asus Transformer Prime, and... Uh, you know, it's really nice to have the optimizations in the game and to add some nice flavor to the game, uh, some water effects, ragdoll effects for the zombies, and uh, just an all-around better experience. But there is a way to enable those on non-Tegra 3 devices. Uh, so really quickly, we'll just go into our game. I'll show you uh, exactly what I mean by the uh, differences. Go ahead and click the main class and accept. And I'll just point out some of the areas that are uh, lacking the Tegra 3 enhancements. Uh, we, by the way, we are using our uh, quad-core Cortex A9 in our Samsung Galaxy S3. This is our international version. And uh, as you can see, right when we walk in this hallway, usually there is a bunch of water right here on the ground. Also, there will be uh, steam coming out of the walls here. And then a lot of times when you go through the uh, different passageways, there is water that drops down on you. And also when you shoot the zombies, a ragdoll effect happens. But anyways, what we are going to do to enable the Tegra 3 graphics on the non-Tegra 3 device, are we going to exit the game? We we'll want to make sure the game's not running at all. So we're going to uh, kill the application. Then we can set our phone down for a minute. Uh, what we're going to need is a root file explorer like ES File Explorer. We're going to need a rooted device. So if you have a Galaxy S3 and it's not rooted, go ahead and check out our how to root video. And we have how to root videos for other devices. Um, if you think your device is capable and it's rooted, go ahead and try this mod. But anyways, we're going to need the uh, ES File Explorer. We can use any explorer that we want, but uh, we need to have one that can actually edit text files. So we're going to go into the uh, ES File Explorer. And okay, we're going to go into our settings after that. Now we're going to go to the uh, let's see root explorer only for rooted devices there, and we will grant it permission. So also within the settings, we're going to enable the up to root directory. That's going to allow us to uh, get past the actual just searching in the SD card. So uh, we're just in the SD card now, and we can go up. So now we are in the root directory. We're going to want to go to data and data again. Okay, so once we're in data, we're going to need to navigate to the com.madfingergames.deadtrigger. Then we'll go to shared prefs. We need to open the com.madfingergames.deadtrigger.xml. We need to open that as a text file with the uh, ES note editor. Okay, so once we're in the com.madfingergames.deadtriggerxml, we're going to be looking for the Unity Graphics Quality value. We're going to change the value from 0, or it may be 1, to 2. Then we need to scroll down, find the graphics detail here, and change that value. Uh, that will be 2 or 0, and we can change that to 3. Now we need to press Menu and click Save. It is saved successfully. Okay, then we're going to go back, and we will long press on the file. We need to click Properties, and then after we uh, click Properties, we need to go to Changes, and then we need to uh, deselect the Write functionality. And now I change the permissions to uh, actually save the um, preferences of the changes we've made. And then another thing you can do is go back, and then we can actually... Um, delete or move the com.madfingergames.deadtriggerxml.bak and once we delete that uh, we will have our finalized changes so now that that's deleted we'll go back we're going to go into our dead trigger game check out the changes we've made Go into our level here. Now as you can see we have our water which only comes with the Tegra 3 graphics usually and we also have our steam coming from there. We'll walk through, cap a few zombies, show you the ragdoll effects. So 
We got our ragdoll effects with the zombies now. I'm no scope this fool. And then we'll find another little Tegra um, enhancement here in just a second. I'll go to where the water drips down and we can actually see that. So as we walk through here, we can see that our water is dripping down and our Cortex A9 performs beautifully under these uh, settings. Can definitely handle the load that the Tegra 3 usually does. But anyways, guys, that was our mod. Go ahead and try it out on your own phone. Uh, you'll be able to play the full game as it was meant to be played on the Tegra 3 without the need of the Tegra 3. And uh, stay tuned to AndroidAuthority.com, guys. We've got a lot more mods, reviews, and everything Android coming at you.